Hey everybody! Hi everyone! Welcome to our Christmas video. Uh, just we really miss all of you, and we just wanted to take a few minutes and tell you about our year. Yeah, let's talk about our year. In late spring, we drove north to Yosemite National Park and set up camp in the valley with a group of friends. Our goal was to do some great hikes. So we started with the Mist Trail, aptly named, and we hiked to see Vernal and Nevada Falls. Next, we hit an old forgotten trail called Sierra Point. It is a very tough bush bushwhacking approach, but well worth it for the view. We did a great hike back to Mirror Lake and had some great, Kari had some great photography moments. And we also hiked most of the way up Yosemite Falls, which is a very tough, but also equally beautiful hike. In May, a bunch of my crazy riding buddies and I did a ride called, of all things, Breathless Agony. <laughs> it's a 114 mile ride with about 12,000 feet of climbing into the mountains in Redlands, California. It's a very well supported with awesome rest stops after the three major climbs that we did. And the ride finishes on this place called Onyx Summit at 8,400 feet, where we are greeted by the Grim Reaper. And you know what song was singing? I was singing as I suffered up the last part of the hill, right? It's in your head already. Don't fear the reaper. In early summer, Sarah and I drove to Page, Arizona to meet some friends at the Waweep Marina to board a houseboat for Lake Powell. Houseboating in Lake Powell is like a floating camper in the Grand Canyon. We picked several beautiful camping sites to dock the boat for the night we were towing a ski boat also, so we were able to water ski at several camping spots along the way, and then at night, kick back for the sunset as we, um, after we ate dinner. There's this beautiful natural arch called Rainbow Arch, which is only accessible by boat. And then you take this short hike to a view that is just amazing of the arch. Near one of our campsites, there was a water cave which is actually the location of our Christmas card picture this year. The funny thing about that cave is that the water was rising each day and the cave was gone and gone and forgotten the next day. For 4th of July, we went home to see our families in Wisconsin. Summerfest was in full swing, so we went with a family to check out the food, crowds, play some games, and watch some street performers right down on the lakefront in Milwaukee. We visited with friends we love and took a micro distillery tour where they had a still that would make Hawkeye blush. Everything was so green. And when we were visiting my parents in the country, we noticed exactly how green their garden was. It really puts ours to shame. Sarah and I have always wanted to learn how to sail for as long as I can remember. So this summer, we took sailing classes in our local harbor in Dana Point. We first learned to rig up small 14-foot Capri sailboats from an instructor named of all things Foxy. For starters, we sailed with, a, with just the mainsail and we were able to visit our friends, as you can see, the sea lions, as we sailed out, in, out of the harbor into the ocean. In our advanced class, we added a jib sail, which gave us more sail and speed and more ways to maneuver as we tacked or jibed into the wind. We have now joined the sailing club and sail on the weekends when the wind is blowing good. <laughs> this fall we visited Sequoia National Park with our friend Marnie. We entered the huge park from the south through three rivers and set up camp in low elevations. It was chilly at night camping. The highlight of Sequoia is their giant trees. The sentinel tree here is bigger than you can imagine. And the general Sherman tree is the granddaddy of them all at 270 feet tall and 25 feet in diameter. These trees are over 2,000 years old. Hiking along to see the trees. We were hiking along to see the trees when we ran into this group of deer. Hi there. It was also Halloween weekend, so we took a spooky tour of Crystal Cave underground and also climbed up to see the lookout from the top of Morrow Rock. 
Sarah and I had the honor this year to participate in the wedding of the decade for our dear friends, Junior and Susie. We both did Bible readings during the ceremony in front of the church. And at, this, at the reception, we got to do this fun thing. We got to introduce the, to the group how to get the couple to kiss. So the standard way is clinking your glasses together. But at this reception, because Susie and Junior are always unique, you had to do either uh, perform a yoga pose in front of everyone or read an original piece of personal prose. For years, Sarah and I have supported the Challenge Athletes Foundation with donations. And this year was, we wanted to do things a little bit different. We decided to do the race as a relay with our great friend, Larry Davidson. I did the ocean, the mile ocean swim. I know what you're thinking, Kari, swimming? Yeah, yeah, right. But it went really well. Larry did the 50 mile, ocean, 50 mile bike ride and Sarah did the 10 mile run. We had a great time competing for a great cause and Larry's family even came out to cheer us on. We even got to see some celebrities like here with Bill Walton with his huge road bike and there was also a tribute to Robin Williams who competed almost every year um, that the race was run. We saw him every year. Just after Thanksgiving, we drove to Sedona, Sarah and I drove to Sedona to the land of 100 hikes. We didn't finish 100 hikes, but did some awesome hikes to beautiful red rocks. We didn't want to miss Devil's Bridge. We climbed around it, and there was this great lookout Sarah found from this spot. We visited the Cathedral Church with its awesome views and hiked up Doe Mountain to see the most breathtaking cliff views of the valley. The West Fork Trail was filled with river crossings, which led us into this beautiful slot canyon of towering rocks rising above us and rich, beautiful stream views as we hiked along the river. Each night, we had this amazing view from our hot tub. Can you believe it? We left a little earlier than we planned because the rain came in, but wow, were the rain clouds cool. We love and miss you all. Have a wonderful Christmas and, and a, a happy, happy new year. year. Bye. Bye.